going, LG? This is Curtis here. It's kind of a strange time for us, eh? For some people, this may be the first break that you've had in a really long time, and that could be good, or for some it may be an unwelcome break full of uncertainty. There are some people that are working more than they ever had, and maybe you're one of those people and you're exhausted right now. I'm hugely grateful to all the healthcare professionals that are on the front lines literally putting their lives on the line for the sake of others. But there are other people that have really stood out to me as well. If we didn't have the store clerks, the shelf stockers, cleaners, warehousemen, social workers on the front lines risking their lives as well, where would we be right now? Some of the roles that some people consider menial or lower paying, lesser skilled work, are now some of the things that are holding our society together. It's really a glaring example of how every person has an important role to play. I'm reading this book right now by Tim Keller called Every Good Endeavor. It is basically about the theology of work. Humans were created to work. Adam and Eve were given the vocation to tend to the garden. The beginning of Genesis says that God had six days of work before he rested, and we're made in the image of our creator. We are made in the image of one who works. Dorothy Sayers writes, Work is not primarily a thing one does to live, but the thing one lives to do. It is, or should be, the full expression of the worker's faculties, the medium in which he offers himself to God. So what do we do in this time where our work looks different than what we're used to it looking like? Paul writes in Colossians 3, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. So do something. and Do it with all of your heart. Take some of this time to work at studying the scriptures. What better time than the present to do it? Study something with your family. Maybe train your kids in science or math or ecology or sociology. What better time to study why people act the way they do than right now in a crisis? Maybe finish some of your home projects. But whatever you do, do it unto the Lord as an act of worship. If you're someone who is still working through this time, especially if you're someone who works with or around other people, know that you're currently walking out God's call to us in Romans 12, where Paul writes, Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. God is pleased with you for the work that you're doing right now. To everyone out there, Know today that you are infinitely valued because you were created on purpose by a loving God. God doesn't make junk. Practice social distancing, but do something unto the Lord with all of your heart, and your time will not be wasted. He will be pleased with you. Can I pray for you? Father, I thank you for each person here. I thank you for each person watching. I thank you that we can be connected as the body of Christ because your spirit dwells within us. And Lord, I thank you that there's nothing we can do to get closer to you because your spirit dwells within us. Help us recognize your presence with us today. Give us vision, Lord. What am I supposed to be doing with myself right now? What are we supposed to be doing with our time? How can I bring glory to you while I'm doing it? And Holy Spirit, empower us to do that well. So may the Lord bless you and keep you this week. Shalom.